I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Siamese Force because I am going to force hands in pre-selected categories. There are a couple reasons why I think this is a good exercise. One, if you play in a tournament, because a lot of times they have prizes for the first hand in every category on the card. The other reason is because I do what's called the dot challenge where I mark every winning hand on my card with a dot and I force myself to play hands I haven't won yet. This exercise can help achieve a fully dotted card. If you haven't tried the dot challenge, give it a try. It really is a great personal challenge year to year. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Okay, this one is the hardest for me because I tend to avoid that category. This will be a challenge because singles and pairs are quite challenging. Let's see what happens. We're going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. Player one will be odds. Player two will be evens. I rolled an even number. So for the first one, we're going to be player two. I'll get 27 tiles. Okay, let's see, let's look at pairs, pairs, three, two, one, let's look at our multiples first. We have a pair of flowers, pair of north, pair of green dragon, pair of fives with cracks, pung of six dot, pair of seven dot, pair of two bam, pair of nine bam with number tiles five six seven two nine five six seven what about if we did an addition hand five six eleven or five seven twelve so we have flowers and we have fives Let's go this way. So now, five, seven, twelve, five, seven, twelve. And then for the rest of this, we could do, let's see here. Five seven twelve edition three six nine three six nine Joker bait We do have two six eight two four six eight here's four eight and here's a two two four six eight might be better joker bait three joker bait oh i think the other way was better we had way less uh joker bait so I think I would do 369, some kind of 369.
three, six, nine. Too bad we don't have a white dragon. Three, six, nine. This could be a white dragon. Joker bait. Addition, three, six, nine. Joker bait discards. That would utilize all of our multiples, well, except for these, of course. Maybe hold this for potential. 369, oh yeah, 369 dragon. We'd have to use these. What about if we did Let's see. What about if we did five, six, eleven? Still, there's a multiple. But if we did five, oh, there's another multiple there. But what I was thinking is we could do five, six, eleven, and then three, six, nine. Oh, that's even worse. Never mind. That's better. Okay. Oop. Yeah, keep that. Five, seven, twelve, three, six, nine. Joker bait for sure. Hold this for potential. Three, six, nine with dragons. I think that's how I would do it. This was a bit of a challenge. Getting all these tiles, it's not as easy as it looks. But I think this is doable. If I had to pick a hand, I might play Let's see. Yeah, these nines don't really work. Maybe three crack six dot nine bam. I would still keep it all and see what comes. But I think this is enough to say it's workable. Three six nine end edition. There are no gaps here. This is gonna take some work. The only redeeming thing here is this pung. This pung, this pair, that most likely will be joker bait. You know what? I think I would hold these two just in case 2468 comes in. 2468. We're kind of in between. I would discard these last. Oops. Discard those first. And then these. Hold this as long as possible. 369 edition. Let's move on. Oh, let's roll for the next game. I rolled a six, so that is player two. We're going to get 27 tiles.
Okay, we need to make like numbers, odds, evens, and singles and pairs work here. So we have north, east, south. Let's see if we have like numbers. We have all the fours. We have a pair of sixes, a six, a pair of sevens, and a seven. I was thinking news with like numbers. If we did two, four, six, eight, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good for two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, and then that could leave us with five, seven, seven, nine. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, second hand down would be one option. Or we could do two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, eight. We're missing an eight. Two, four, six, eight. I think two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight, second hand down. But I would hold all the two, four, six, eight. Then down here, we could do five, seven, seven, nine, or we could do five, seven, nine with sevens. The five, seven, nine with sevens would be the second from the bottom. We could also maybe do one, three, five, five, seven, nine, the concealed one. I think there's options here, but I would hold them all and not pick a hand till we run out of discards. Hold this for joker bait. So this would be evens and odds. Evens and odds. There's a lot there to work with, lots of fodder. But I would not pick a hand till I run out of discards and get more multiples and then build around the multiples. Let me know if you would do something different here. Okay, we got to make singles and pairs and like numbers work next time. For this one, we are going to be player two, because I rolled an even number. All right. We're gonna have our work cut out for us here. We have like numbers and singles and pairs to do here. So we do have uh, two, four, six, eight in here. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Maybe a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight pair hand, probably dots and bams. And then for like numbers, we would have to throw all these away. We do have dragons and nines. Nines with dragons, probably pair, pung, kong with nine bam. So these would be discarded and these would be joker bait. So This is how I would do it. Like numbers with nines, two, four, six, eight pair hand, hold that for an option. Joker bait for the like number hand. Since we have a gap of no north, I don't think I would consider 
news pair hand because these are the only like numbers really that we have in multiples and we have to make like numbers work so that's why i thought the two four six eight would be better so we're not fighting with like numbers with the news hand we do have two two four four six six but not any one tile is represented for each suit and that's why i wouldn't go with the news pair hand i would probably discard those first then the east then the winds and then the threes because the threes will more likely be used with jokers so i would do these last like numbers and singles and pairs. If you would have done this differently, let me know. Siamese Mahjong has challenges of its own, but when you add forcing hands to that, it takes it to a new level. It's a lot of fun, and I hope that you give it a try, especially if you like to play in tournaments, or if you do that dot challenge. Forcing hands is a great way to fill that card. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.